And we begin tonight with a developing story. The fugitive and former defense contractor known as Fat Leonard has been captured in Venezuela after he escaped San Diego and went on the run for weeks. Our Phil Blauer joins us now with new information that is just coming into our newsroom. Phil? Yeah, we're talking about his world travel, Susan, and while he avoided being caught by authorities, and tonight, Fat Leonard's arrest comes 16 days after he disappeared from his San Diego home. And this evening, we're learning that he was about to fly to Russia when he got stopped in his tracks. This is Leonard Glenn Francis, shortly after his arrest at an airport in Venezuela as he attempted to board a plane. The photo posted by the Interpol office in Caracas shows the fugitive, better known as Fat Leonard, looking sullen. The 58-year-old military contractor, accused of bribery and corruption, cut off his GPS monitoring bracelet Labor Day weekend and vanished from his San Diego home. Venezuelan Interpol officials say that Francis had entered their country from Mexico with a stopover in Cuba and was planning to fly to Russia when he was detained at an international airport in Venezuela. A so-called red notice had been issued for his capture by law enforcement worldwide. Also, the international manhunt included a $40,000 reward that was being offered for information leading to his arrest. Francis was taken into custody in San Diego in 2013 and pleaded guilty to offering a half a million dollars in bribes to Navy officers. He ultimately defrauded the Navy of about $35 million. Francis, who battled cancer, had been on house arrest since 2018 and was set to be sentenced Thursday in San Diego federal court facing 25 years behind bars. According to private investigator Bill Garcia, the U.S. Marshals were trying to find Francis by using their deep and far-reaching contacts. Obviously, Mexico is one of the closest out-of-country routes that he could have taken. And with the amount of traffic going back and forth across the border on a holiday weekend, he could have very easily crossed the border and then taken some type of transport out of Mexico. Now, Francis will have to be extradited back to the U.S., which could take some time. A U.S. Marshal spokesman says the State Department and the U.S. Attorney General's Office will be leading the extradition effort.